What's going on, brothers? It's Lime Take Over the Name. Got another video for you. It's written title Inspiration. Here goes. So, since it's Black History Month, I figured I'd share with my audience where a lot of my inspiration comes from. So, here goes. A lot of black historical figures have inspired me in this life. But one in particular that I get a lot of my inspiration from is Booker T. Washington. Hear what I said. Booker T. Washington. One of our earliest black elites. And one of our power brokers. And yes, he was a Republican, so... For the serial paint sniffers and those who are feeble, if that hurts your feelings, then get off my channel. Now, I want a video. Booker T. Washington was not just the principal of the Tuskegee Institute. Booker T. Washington actually wasn't of high birth. He was born a slave. And he didn't get his freedom until he was nine years old. But if there's one thing that he actually taught his students and blacks in this country is that there's actually honor in working hard. And I agree with it 100%. Consistency, working hard, owning your own shit. I'm all for that. I mean, the school that he built, a lot of his instructors, a lot of the students at his school had to learn through trial and error. They were able to build, I think about, was it 200 buildings? But yes, he inspired his students to be great. And a lot of people don't realize this, but like me, Booker T. Washington didn't like NPCs. And it's funny how, like, if you, uh, if you, if you brothers have read his book or listened to the audiobook, on character building in chapter 2 he said something in the neighborhood of this there are people who can't think and have nothing mapped out for themselves these people are not worth anything they really ought to pay rent for the air that they breathe who's that sound like today? Who's it sound like? <laughs> exactly. He didn't like NPCs. And neither did I. But he is one of my biggest inspirations. Had it not been for Booker T. Washington, there would not be any black people or black men in the trades. There would not have been any. There would not have been any black truck drivers. There would not have been any like plumbers, welders, brothers and were mechanics, brothers who were civil engineers, and had it not been for Booker T. Washington, there probably wouldn't have been as many black Wall Streets and certain black enclaves. There was a black Wall Street in Wilmington, North Carolina. There was one in Durham. And the biggest one was, Tos was in Tosa, Oklahoma. I didn't forget that it was bombed. I didn't forget any of that. And I really lead by example. To be the very best at whatever it is I do in this life. 
Oh, and one more thing. I believe that Booker G. Washington started the National Negro Business League. And he had like over 100 chapters. And one of his principals at his institute actually encouraged black people to own land. And he was shotgunned to death, but Booker T. Washington, uh, he survived. But one of the ways that he was able to survive was to speak carefully. That's right. Be methodical. And I mean, it's just so much I can say about him, but yes, one of my greatest inspirations was Booker T. Washington. Mm-hmm. This is Lionel Mittal. You brothers out there, stay safe, stay vigilant during these perilous times. Hope, hope you enjoy the rest of this month. Mm-hmm. Just let me tell you out.